Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine and I have this really cool new technique to show you using um, black glossy cardstock with alcohol inks. So this is the same alcohol inks you use the white and the same blending solution. I've put mine in a mini mister, but we're going to use black glossy cardstock. Um, so the difference is you're going to need to use more of the white ink, either pearl or snow cap, um, to get the color to be opaque versus translucent. On the white cardstock, it's translucent, so it shows up well. But on the black, you need it to, to be opaque. So that's where we're going to add a little more white than um, we usually would. And we're going to do this a little bit different too. So I've got my black, glossy black cardstock. It's hard to say. Um, and I've cut that down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to apply the ink directly to the cardstock. It's going to drop a whole bunch on there, add the white to it. And then with my mini mister, I'm going to apply the alcohol blending solution so that um, instead of pushing it around, it kind of goes inside the ink and pushes it out. And then I'm going to use the tip of a paintbrush to swirl those together, kind of like you would cake batter. And then I add a little more alcohol ink or alcohol blending solution on top to um, help it blend even more. Now you don't want to blend this to the point where you lose the color difference. Um, you just want to swirl it together so that you see the different colors. So I'm going to go in and do my background now. I'm using a sheet of Lakeshore cardstock from Simon Says Stamp in the same color ink, also from Simon Says Stamp, and using a My Favorite Things Floral Fantasy background stamp. This is a 6x6 six six red rubber cling stamp, and I'm just going to use it um, cardstock to stamp versus stamp to cardstock. So I wanted to get a tone on tone, but um, it turns out that when it dried, the ink was too light, so you could barely see it. You can see it if you look real closely, but you can't see it very well. So you can just see it because the ink's wet, but once it dries, it kind of fades a little too much. So um, if I were to do this again, I would use a darker shade of ink. So there is our black cardstock piece, and I used a Say Hello die from Concord and Ninth. There's the stamp set that goes with it, the Say Hello stamp set. Um, so I use the big hello die to, to die cut the cardstock, and I'm using two of the stamps from the stamp set to add the sentiment on top and on bottom. And then um, for my Lakeshore cardstock, I ran that through my die cutting machine using a My Favorite Things Wonky Stitches die. So I'm going to stamp the two sentiments using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and my Misty. And I've already heard that to a card base, just a standard um, Nina Solar White card base. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue to the back. And this is a wide card die cut, so it makes it easier to use glue on this. Or you could use a tape runner. Just going to stick that down, and then I'm going to add some sequins from Little Things. I'm using Deep Fuchsia and Caribbean Dream. So I'm going to add some sequins, and I'm going to attach those using some Ranger Matte Medium. And I picked um, pink and teal to kind of pull out the pink and teal from the alcohol inks that I used on the glossy cardstock. And then that is going to pretty much finish up the card. Um, so I'm going to have a link for that black cardstock. I got it from ellenhudson.com in the description box if you're interested in picking that up. It's a really fun technique. You can kind of get more use out of your alcohol inks with it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really cool. So give it a shot. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.